Welcome to the weekly Ransomware Roundup, your weekly summary about all things ransomware, data protection, data security, backup and DR, storage, and cloud. As always, the links for these news stories can be found in the description below. Without further ado, this is the Roundup for the fourth week of July, 2022. The LockBit ransomware gang is claiming to have stolen as much as 100 gigabytes of data from the servers of Italy's Internal Revenue Service. According to the group's claims, the stolen data includes company documents, scans, financial reports, and contracts which it threatens to publish if a ransom isn't paid. A North Korean-backed threat group known as Kim Suki is using a malicious browser extension to steal emails from Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge users reading their webmail. The extension, dubbed SharpExed, supports three Chrome-based web browsers, Chrome, Edge, and Whale, and can steal mail from Gmail and AOL accounts. The attackers installed a malicious extension after compromising a target system using a custom VBS script by replacing the Preferences and Secure Preferences files with ones downloaded from the malware's command and control server. Once the new Preferences files are downloaded, the web browser automatically loads the SharpExed extension. The decentralized music platform Audius was hacked with threat actors stealing audio tokens worth approximately $6 million. According to experts, the hacker exploited a bug in the contract initialization code that allowed performing repeated invocations of the initialize functions. The actor attempted to execute four governance proposals and successfully transferred the bulk of the Audius community pool to the attacker's external wallet. With ransomware attacks targeting an organization every 11 seconds, how does a backup administrator come up with a BCDR plan that can ensure business continuity and quick disaster recovery? We've written a comprehensive guide to help you navigate the complexities of a business continuity and DR plan. Link in the description. Researchers have identified a new phishing campaign dubbed as DuckTail that targets social media professionals on LinkedIn with administrative social media privileges. The campaign uses social engineering to induce victims to download files hosted on legitimate cloud hosting services such as Dropbox or iCloud, containing JPEG images including an executable made to appear like a PDF document. When executed, the malware scans for browser cookies on Chrome, Edge, Brave, and Firefox, collects system information, and steals Facebook credentials by crawling through Facebook pages to capture multiple access tokens. Malicious actors are exploiting an unknown security flaw in the PrestaShop e-commerce platform to inject malicious skimmer codes and swipe sensitive information. A successful exploitation allows attackers to submit a specially crafted request that grants the ability to execute arbitrary instructions. In this case, threat actors inject a fake payment form on the checkout page to gather credit card information. Lastly, the promo of the week. Get a 1 petabyte, expandable up to 4 petabyte, fully air-gapped and immutable Veeam backup and DR appliance with file and S3 object lockdown technology for ransomware protection and instant multi-VM recovery for $995 a month on a 5-year term. For details and demos, visit Stonefly's website. That's it for this weekly roundup. Stay safe. See you next week.